Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own Super Mario or any character for that matter, like nail art or nail decals. So the first thing you're going to do is get your clip art and you can just go to Google. Uh, I typed in Super Mario transparent background and whatever the item I wanted to get. So for the shells, I just chose this one, dragged it onto my desktop and saved it. And then I uploaded it into Cricut Design Space. So I did most of them. So I'll show you the last two. I'm going to just do this fire flower and click complex. And then I have Cricut Access so I can use the background remover on here. So if you look at it, it's going to cut out a square. So you have to remove the background and I'll show you how you can fix these little things that happen when you do that. You just click restore and then color in the part you want to restore. Super easy. So that looks good. I'm going to save it as fire flower and as a print and cut image. Okay, so now I'm going to do Princess Peach in the same way. And I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm making these nail decals because we're going to Super Mario World in Universal for spring break. So you know, got to do the theme nails. And I did Disney last time and they came out super cute. So I'm going to do Super Mario. And for this one, it's another good example of how you can just restore the little spaces. Like you don't want the Cricut to cut out those little spaces in between. So it's fine if that's white when you print it out. And just going to save this one as peach. In this voiceover, I just wanted to mention I forgot to do the Mario character and I added him in later, but the process was the same. So now I'm just adding all these characters to Canvas. I always do more than I need, uh, like more characters, just because I don't know which ones are going to fit on what nail. So I add, added them all to Canvas. So at this point, you're going to want to measure your nails and see what the maximum height and width is for each finger. Um, I know for myself, my pinky is 0.3 inches height and no more than a quarter inch in width. And so I did I actually printed this out twice because right here I'm making them all 0.3. But when I printed them out, they, besides my pinky, they're all a little too small. So when I printed it out the second time, I mean the characters like the people characters 0.4 inches and ideally the items like the star and the mushroom all that would be 0.35 inches so do as i say not as i do <laughs> right here because i am making them 0.3 and they're too small i do want to point out that i have really small nails and i cut my nails short and that's why it's so small you really need to measure your own nails so that they're the ideal um, size and you don't have to reprint and also if you know like your pinky finger is smaller if you know which one you're going to put on your pinky then you can adjust the size and make that one smaller versus making them all the same and then having to print again like me so once you're done resizing them all you can select all of them and duplicate and i'm going to make them make five copies i like to have extra just in case something goes wrong or i need more you never know always make extra so this looks good and don't worry about wasting sticker paper you will be able to reuse this at least at least once more if not more so i'm going to go ahead and send it to printer always add the bleed and i'm going to use system dialog and when i print this out i'm going to be using the printable vinyl setting so the first time i printed it out i used this matte printable vinyl by you ink it and they came out really nice and crisp and this is my thinnest sticker paper that I have. And it has like a clear trans transparent backing. Um, you'll see later in the video, I ended up wanting to use a glossy sticker paper. And the thinnest one I had was the Zykoto glossy paper. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out. So I always use a brayer to flatten my vinyl onto the mat. But I feel like it's even more important when you have small intricate cuts. So 
So even though these are really small stickers, it's still a good idea to check to make sure that it cut all the way through. Sometimes you have to peel it up to get to that point and just try to take one off. So that looks good. So we're gonna take it off the mat and we're ready to apply them. Okay, so I have my stickers all printed out and they're so cute. I'm so happy with the way they came out and my Cricut was really well calibrated. Like if you, if you can see, it cut out really well. So if yours is not cutting out like this, you just have to recalibrate your Cricut and do it again. And the good thing about like when you print it out like this, like kiss cut versus cut all the way through, you can go ahead and print like on this side, you know, you can just turn it around, feed it through and print on this side. So you're not really wasting a whole lot of sticker paper. Um, I've also cut it across and as long as you have like the majority of the sticker paper still intact, you can still print it out even though it's not full length. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. So you need all your normal nail tools, right? I have a bunch of videos out there um, on how I do my nails, but I was trying to debate on which one I should use. So because I'm doing custom stickers, I want these to last for a really long time and at least two weeks. And the only way I get really good wear is if I use like the stickers, like the gloss. I would normally, this would be my go-to. And because it's white, the stickers really pop out. And I think I used this last time on my Plants vs. Zombies manicure. But anyway, so I have this one. This I just got like with points from Sephora, but they look very similar. And I bet they're made by Dashing Diva or the same company that makes it. You know how it's like that. So I might try these out. Plus, um, if you saw them last year, we went to Disneyland and I used silver underneath the Disney characters and it came out so cute. I, it looked better than just the white. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out and I'll see which one I will use on my trip. If this one lasts long, I will probably go with this. So other things you'll need is um, a builder base and a top coat. You also need a tweezers. It just really helps with the placement. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'll kind of fast forward through doing, getting the stickers on my nails just because I think if you've been following me, that's kind of the same every time. I just saw that Dashing Diva came out with a medium thickness sticker. I think it's also gel. I don't think you have to use the UV lamp. I'm not sure. So this is gloss. The thick ones are glaze, the ones that are like Ohora. And there's another one now. I'm gonna have to order some and try it out. I'm so curious, cause that would be perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna get my stickers out. So because my nails are short, I can probably use this pack twice, maybe three times. I noticed like Dashing Diva, it's, some of the stickers are really big, so unless I want to go through the trouble of cutting them down, um, like I probably won't use, oh, there's a lot in here. Okay, awesome. Like I would have to cut this down, you know, and I'm not very good at that. Okay, so these are super cute. I can still cut it in half. I just washed my hands and I did, um, use the body shop or not the body shop, the face shop, the smoothing peel because my hands are so dry. Like my sons are in baseball right now and every time their uniform gets super dirty, I have to use that Phil's naphtha soap and it's awesome, it works, but it's really drying on your hands. So I just did that yesterday. I guess I could clean up my cuticles a little bit more. I kind of, I don't really trim this part just because I think it damages your cuticles. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but. I tend to really only 
trim the sides that get dry. But this is a really good cuticle trimmer. It's all in one piece. If you know the other ones, oh, I threw my other one away that broke, but it's in two pieces and then it's, I don't know, sometimes hard. These, you have to keep sharp though, so it helps to have the cover. I dropped my other one and that's why I had to replace it because it just wasn't the same after. I forget how many points this was. Maybe like 200 points to get these stickers. Okay, that fit like perfectly on there. Yeah, so I think it'll look super cute. It's gonna be a little bit crazy, but I'm actually practicing this nail look for Japan. So I think it'll be okay if it's a little crazy. Also for my son's birthday, I'm doing a Super Mario theme. Oh, I think I'll have other videos if I have time coming out for that. Like, it's just a small family party, so I'm only doing like a few decorations and goodie bag things. You know, I don't think that these are Dashing Diva quality. They feel like a little bit more plasticky and are not as easy to work with, but I mean, they were free, so not complaining. I don't think Sephora even sells nail wraps on their website. I actually just checked and I didn't see any. So I apologize, even if you love this, um, you can't buy it from Sephora unless you use your points. But you know, Dashing Diva has very similar ones and I'll link, I'll link it down below because I do have it in my nail area. I just don't know the name of it off the top of my head. And these are not stretchy. I mean, just like the Dashing Diva ones, they're not stretchy. So I try to put them in the center if I can. And if there's a little bit on the edge that you can see my nail, I mean, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna just file this off. And like I've said before, I try not to file this way. I always try to come from the inside and file so that you don't file, you know, the part that you see. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this off camera and come back. It's really easy to file off. Okay, so now they're ready to go. Um, now the hard part, just trying to figure out which nail or which sticker to put on each nail. I know my pinky is gonna be the hardest. So I think I'm gonna try to find the smallest one, which might be Princess Peach. See how small that is? You just get your tweezers and place it right in the middle or wherever you want to put it and press down. I'm thinking though I want a theme. I might put all like the good guys on this side and all the bad guys on this guy on this side. Uh, not the bad guys, but the non-main characters. So Peach. Where's Mario? Oh my gosh, should I leave out Mario? Ah, oh, that is so... Okay, well, I'm gonna have to reprint this later. Okay, so these were the original ones I just showed you. And then I went on to print out them bigger, like 0.4 inches height. And these came out okay. They're a little bit too big though for my nails. So I tried to make it smaller. I messed up. When you... Put the paper in again, or to cut, make sure you cut out the registration line completely because when I put it to the Cricut, it read this registration line, so it cut, the print and cut came out off. So this size would have worked, but then I was thinking, you know, I kind of liked the glossy finish when I did the Disney nails last time. And so I printed it out on this Zykoto, Sticker paper sheet, sorry, it's too zoomed in, but this pack came with 10 matte and 10 glossy sticker sheets. 
So I use the glossy because I usually use the J and J, but then I think the J and J is thicker. It it felt just a tiny, tiniest bit thicker than the Zykoto. And whereas this matte one is the thinnest. That's so why this one I put it on and I was doing all kinds of stuff and it didn't even lift, you know, it's like still on there good. I'm gonna put this one on. I can see maybe it's gonna lift a little bit on the edges, like where there's little pointy edges. So, but yeah, we'll just work with it. But yeah, so I went through a whole bunch of sticker printing. And we'll do Mario, because I printed out Mario this time. Seriously, of all the characters. But yeah, see how it just, the glossiness just pops out a lot more than the matte. I'm making it go all the way to my cuticle. So in hindsight, if I knew I was gonna put Princess Peach on my pinky, I would make her smaller. So instead of being 0.4, which is what I adjusted all the characters to be, instead of 0.3, I would have done like 0.35. That would have been ideal, but I am not gonna go and reprint this again, so. Okay, so is that cute or weird? It might be a little too big, especially the items. I gotta make them a little bit smaller. But we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> Every time I do this, this is for my son's birthday too. I think, did I mention that? He's having a Mario birthday party. Last year it was Plants vs. Zombies and every year we go camping with my son's class. And one of the moms is like, is that, what is that on your nails? I'm like, oh, it's Plants vs. Zombies. And I don't think she knew what that game was. So I felt a little silly, but it's okay. So I'm just using this Ohora Pro tool to push down those edges really well and at the cuticle line. So if you can see like the, with the sticker, if you use a thick sticker and your item or your sticker or the design is pointy or has a lot of sharp edges, sometimes it'll lift up a little bit. So you just have to really press this down and oh, yeah, really press it down before you put the builder gel. So today I'm using, well, as usual, the I'm Yelly base coat or builder base and top coat. And I'm also using my stronger LED lamp. I will link it down below. I, I know last time I did a nail video, they didn't have this exact same one, but really it's a pretty basic item. They'll, anyone will do, I think, as long as it's stronger than the Ohora one, which is really easy because it's like so small and it's not like a cave like that, I guess you could call it. So I'm just, Tapping off the edge, especially for this one where it's like right at the very edge. And doing a nice medium coat. I don't want it to be too thin because I do want it to cover up the sticker really well, like the edges of the sticker, but I don't want it to be so thick that it's like uncomfortable or looks weird. So I'm going to quickly put my hand under here for 60 seconds and come back. You know what? I think I'm going to just do the characters. This might be too crazy for me to go out in public, but you can see what it looks like. I think only because it's so big. If I made it smaller, it would be fine. So I'm just going to take it off and Put on the exact same matching set and use the builder base and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm all done with the first coat of builder base. And after this, you kind of have to just look at your nails and then see which ones have like an edge. So like this one, I can see there's a little bit of an edge there that I need to fill in. This one I can smooth a little bit, like the bottom part of her dress. 
this one's okay. Maybe I can do a little coat. This one's okay, but I can do a little bit. I think Yoshi is fine. So I'm just gonna do a very thin layer, kind of only putting it where I want it, but also making it smooth if it's possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this with my other hand and also cure this for 60 seconds and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think that's fine. They're all kind of coated. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the top coat. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Um, cap the edge and do a nice thin coat over the whole design. And then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. I'm going to do this hand and then come back. Okay, so I finished this hand. I did put them both underneath for an extra 60 seconds. I think just because I did two coats of the Builder Base. So they feel pretty good. Not only this one I feel like is sticking out a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and file. Just kind of releasing, like if you got some on your um, skin or something, you can just release it with the side of your file and just lightly go over it just so it's not like rough on any part. Hope you like this video. Sorry, there's so many changes, but now you know if you want this look like a shinier, I, I don't even know what to call it like not even 3d but it looks it does look a little more 3d than the matte um go with the glossy paper even though it's thicker and yeah i really like it on the silver glitter it would look cute on the white but i think this glitter really makes the i guess design pop but yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video